Okay. Hi, everybody. Okay. I have my oven set at 350. I am going to show you a really simple, uh, very modifiable spaghetti sauce. Okay. So right here I've got, this is a pie plate. See? I made a little divider with my foil. I'm going to spray my pan. It's a light spray. And this bag here, I have meatballs that I froze. These are not cooked, okay? And it, it makes a big batch. It makes like, uh, it's, it's three pounds of hamburger, and it makes like just a ton of meatballs. But this is really great. So on half of this pan, I'm going to put plain meatballs. On the other half, about halfway through their cooking time. They have to cook for an hour at 350. About halfway through I'm going to cover them with some homemade barbecue sauce. The other side I'm going to keep plain because they're going to go in my spaghetti that I'm making. Plain hands. Okay, so I'm going to just... I might have a couple of days of spaghetti, so... So many... Three, four, I think I'm going to do about four meatballs. And I got five, that's okay. Alright. On the other side, yeah, I'm probably going to want a couple days of some meatballs. Barbecue meatballs. I love them. I'll eat them just plain. Not on any bread or anything. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 13, 14. Alright. So these go in the oven, just like this, not covered. For an hour, but I need to put sauce on, so I'm going to set the timer for a half an hour. My sauce will take 45 minutes, so by the time I get the sauce going, Okay, by the time I get the sauce going, it'll be about 45 minutes the sauce will cook, and then I can add my meatballs to it. Alright, let me put these in the freezer real quick. Very, very simple recipe. I'm going to put my heat on, about medium, on the electric stove. Let me move you over a little bit closer here. All right. I got to see what I'm doing. I can't see what you guys see. There we go. All right. Got that going a little bit. Oop, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom here. Not much, just a little drizzle. Because I'm going to cook up some onion and some pepper. My pepper I already washed. I don't have any canned mushrooms or fresh mushrooms. If you have either or, you can also saute them in there. Pull out some of that moisture. I know I'm not cutting up this onion right. I just do it as best and quickly as I can. Whatever I'm used to. So about the size of a small onion. This was just a chunk that I had in the fridge. Alright, next we're going to do our pepper here. Which is not looking real good. So this is very adaptable. Um, this is going to make enough for like four servings. Oh, I like to cut off the white part of the pepper. 
these ribs. Go ahead, cut those off. I'm going to do about half the pepper, I think. And I want them in not, not too big a chunks. You know, remember this is a spaghetti sauce, so just to average. Average cut, I don't know, about a quarter of an inch, I suppose, is what they are. I am going to saute these in some oil, soften them up just a little bit, then I'll be adding my sauce ingredients. So this will cook for 45 minutes, and I've tried it like not, not letting it cook the whole 45 minutes, and it doesn't taste the same. Uh, it really needs that 45 minutes. But if you want a quick sauce, yeah, it will work. It's just not going to be as flavorful. Okay. My oil is probably heated up. We're going to move back over to this pan right here. And this is just a, I don't know, what is this, a four quart saucepan or something. Nice sizzle. I'm also going to be cutting up some garlic. Keep that sauteed just a little bit and get my garlic out. So I bought a bunch of garlic and I just put it in a jar with some olive oil. Okay, I'm only going to do about a large clove of garlic, just like a one good sized one approximately. saute that's, uh, I don't know, about maybe three to five minutes, just to get everything softened up. In the meantime, you're going to need a can of tomato sauce and tomato paste, any brand. I'm also going to chop up my garlic here real quick, as soon as my vegetables are done, I'm going to add my garlic in just for like 30 seconds. I should show you guys my tip for like getting rid of garlic off of your hands. You don't need anything but your kitchen faucet. Now float it. Rub your hands on the faucet there. I got some pink Himalayan salt here. I'm gonna just I'm gonna salt my vegetables just a little bit here. And get some white salt. Okay, I'm going to get my cans open. So yeah, whatever you happen to have, if you've got like maybe a few mushrooms left in the refrigerator that are starting to look a little sad, or if you have a small can of mushrooms, that might be, um, they're fine as long as you cook them a little bit. Okay, you want to get out some of that water. That's not working. Go 
снимаем. Just opening my cans over here off camera. All right, these are starting to brown beautifully. All right, I'm gonna get out a spoon. I'm gonna turn my heat down just a little bit. I was at about five. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. I'm gonna add my garlic in. So yeah, the garlic and oil doesn't doesn't work the same as fresh garlic. So literally about 30 seconds in this pan, and I'm gonna need to add um, the tomato sauces and a paste here. I think I'm gonna add my tomato paste first. To me, that sometimes works a little bit better. Get that in there. Then you can start getting that. Mixed in. This works just a little bit better if you can get that mixed in with the vegetables before you add the tomato sauce. And start adding, I'm going to add the sauce in all at once. If you don't have tomato sauce, you can also do a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I've done that when I haven't had tomato sauce. Again, if you don't like green pepper, Sometimes I don't add green pepper. If I don't have any, I don't add it in. Gotta have the onion though. Now here's a little tip. Even though I have garlic in here, I am also going to add a little bit of uh, garlic powder. And the reason, <clears throat> excuse me, the reason is because while the garlic has flavor. The garlic powder brings out the garlic, believe it or not. It will bring out that garlic in there. Okay, next I am going to rinse my hands just really quick. Okay, I need about three-fourths cup of water. Now this is a six-ounce can of tomato paste. So what I'm going to do is just fill this up with water. Because that is about the right ounces that you need. I have been making this for a long time. My kids love the spaghetti sauce. my seasonings in now too. I'm going to stir up this water a little bit though. Get that incorporated into the tomato sauce and tomato paste. I am also at this time going to add a little bit of salt. Okay, I'm going to want about a teaspoon. Maybe a little less. Uh, just a little bit of some pepper. Not much, about maybe a half a teaspoon, quarter, maybe a quarter, no, a quarter, about a quarter teaspoon there. This is how I cook. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. All right. Oregano. Okay, we're going to need about a teaspoon of this. And again, I just kind of eyeball it in my hand. Nope, that's too much. <laughs> Don't put too much in. A teaspoon. Alright. And I like to grind it up in my fingers before I add it in. 
We also need a teaspoon of, this is um, sweet basil, about a teaspoon. Again, mash up the dry spices before you put it in. I'm going to turn this down again, it's starting to boil. We don't want any splatter. I'm just going to look at my timer. We are at 17 minutes right now. What did I say? It'd be about 15 minutes when this was done. One more ingredient. Now I can't tell you how much to add because I've always eyeballed it. I've always eyeballed it. All right, watch the pot. About that much sugar. I don't know. It's a couple tablespoons. It's a couple tablespoons. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. Maybe maybe two maybe two and a half tablespoons, all right? I don't know. I've always just eyeballed it. I've tried measuring it out. It's it's approximate. I don't know. I'm just gonna give her a I'm gonna give it a quick little taste real quick here. Mm -mm. Mostly what I'm tasting for is the sugar, okay? And that tastes about right. All right. I'll be the only one eating this. Okay. Grab a lid. That's it. That's it, you guys. So this is to, has to cook for 45 minutes. All right, we're at 16 minutes. Okay, so I was off by a minute. I will absolutely have to do a video of my meatballs, you guys. They're delicious. So we will come back. I've got... Uh, all I have to do is make my spaghetti, and that's very quick cooking spaghetti, so we'll be back. Oh, you guys, I forgot to tell you. Okay, when your tomato sauce comes to a boil, turn it down, down, down. You want a nice low simmer. You can see that's on pretty low. All right. Forgot that little tip. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. So this is the side I'm gonna put um, my homemade barbecue sauce on. And this is part of the recipe of the meatballs. And I'm gonna just spoon it over. I usually only make like a half a batch of this sauce at a time. Keeps in the refrigerator a long time. You can make up a whole one if you want. The original recipe says to put it on like right away when you put them in the oven, but I don't do that. I do this this way so the sauce doesn't get burnt because it's got sugar in it, brown sugar. All right, another half hour, these go into the oven. So you see how I got those all nice and covered. Back into the oven for another half an hour. So here are my meatballs. Those are done. I just came out of the oven. So I'm going to add the one side to my spaghetti sauce right there. The other ones I'm going to just let them cool and put them in a container for another day. I like to use a slotted spoon just to I 
turn the spaghetti sauce off. I'm sorry. So I got the meatballs in there, and it's time to dish up. All right, there's my dinner. Also made myself a couple pieces of some garlic toast from my freezer. Time to eat. Thanks for watching.